Hello everyone and welcome to my five day vegan meal prep. We're gonna first start out with breakfast. So I just have these rolled oats from Trader Joe's. They're not gluten free or organic. I'm waiting to go to Costco's to get that and I'm just gonna measure it with this little measuring cup right here. So two of those into each mason jar and there's the second one. And so that's gonna fill it about halfway. I'm hoping to get some large mouth mason jars. It works a little bit better for this. And then there you go. That's my little trick with a piece of paper so that the oats don't go everywhere. Um, they also make different funnels for that as well. So that's all five right there. Literally took two minutes. And now I'm going to add these fresh local organic blueberries using this little purple measuring cup. And just one of those each is going to go into the top of the mason jar. And I use the paper again to keep everything sealed. They have fancy little funnels for mason jars, but I don't have one of those right now. So I just use the paper and it works perfectly. And then I just kind of have to shove the blueberries in there because it's so packed. And now I'm adding a little bit of sweetener to it. I used honey. I usually use maple syrup, but I used honey here because that's what I had on hand. It's local and organic. If you have allergies, it's great to use local honey as it gives you a little bit of those allergens each day so you can build up your immune system to it. So if you have allergies, I highly recommend putting honey or even bee pollen into your oats in the morning. And moving right along, this is all of them done and then I cap them and put them in the fridge and every single night I'll just add some water. And while I was doing that, I was cooking my lentils. They overflowed, obviously you can tell. And then I was cooking the quinoa too and those two are the only things cooked in this entire meal prep. So those are my lentils. I added orange and green lentils in there and I'm just going to create a salad here. So I'm going to use this cup right here is for measuring different proteins. So proteins like legumes, like lentils. So I add that into the bottom there because it's the slowest digesting food in the salad. And then I work my way up. So I'm using this romaine right here and this really big green cup. <clears throat> there we go. So I just sliced it thinly and it lasts for even six days, guys. Romaine I've never had a problem with, spinach more so. So I added that in there and now I'm going to add in these Organic tomatoes, I actually used two of these containers of tomatoes to fill all of the mason jars and I had like maybe five tomatoes left over so I just tossed them in there. They're super delicious, they're in season right now here in Florida and like I said they're local and organic. Beautiful. So that's all of them done, that was lunch right there. All right, so moving on to snacks. So I have like a midday snack here. I'm using hummus, cucumbers, and beets. They're all organic and local again from the local market. And then I got this organic hummus from Trader Joe's. Super simple ingredients in there. And again, I'm gonna use this green container for measuring out the veggies. And there's little Nemo. She loves some beets. She's so cute. <laughs> And so I'm just going to toss in the cut beets and cucumber mixture into each of these bowls and then use the blue container to measure out the hummus as it's a fat, mostly, um, with the olive oil and everything in there and the tahini. So I added all of that in, just cap that up. It's not very pretty, but it's delicious. And the beets are actually really good with hummus, super high in iron which is amazing. And then all right there is my little compost pile from my lunch and snacks. And look at that face. You can't say no to that face. <laughs> okay, so moving on to dinners. So my dinner is kind of like an Asian fusion with the dressing I'm gonna make, but I'm just gonna add in the quinoa with the same container I used to measure out the oats as they are starch. So I add that in there to each of them. And then I'm going to add in these frozen Brussels sprouts and also some peas, which you'll see in a second. And they're both in season right now. I'm obsessed with peas, especially these ones from Trader Joe's. And I just added them all in and they'll thaw out in the fridge throughout the week. And now I'm going to add in a little bit of a protein option with chickpeas. I usually soak my chickpeas, but I didn't have them, so I just rinsed them really well and added them in there. 
And then we're going to add some more romaine, super high in potassium, very high in calcium, and also folate. So romaine is very much overlooked, but it is super high in minerals, so get that in if you can. And now I'm going to make two dressings. I have a Dijon balsamic dressing. I'm going to use two tablespoons of Dijon, six tablespoons of balsamic, and a little honey, or if I had maple syrup, to sweeten it. And that's my tablespoon. Yeah, <laughs> so I just mixed it in there. I used a fork to mix it. You can throw it in your blender if you want it to be like super creamy, but I'm just doing this on the go, making it less dishes as possible. And then my next one is for dinner. It's with tahini, two tablespoons of tahini, a little bit of black pepper, a teaspoon of turmeric, honey to sweeten, and then a lemon, two lemons and a lime for the juice because I like it super citrusy. And there was my tablespoon again. So there's the tahini. And then water. I actually added more water than this. And then I added in the turmeric. Turmeric explosion. <laughs> um, so add as much water in as you want for the desired consistency. And then I added in the lemon and lime to make it a little zesty. And I just stirred it up with a fork. Like I said, you can put it in your blender if you want it to be creamier. And the black pepper, if you ever do anything with turmeric, add black pepper in there. It helps your body to absorb its anti-inflammatory properties. And those are the two finished products. So, like I said, this one right here is more of an Asian style for the dinners. And then this one is a more tangy, zesty Dijon balsamic dressing for lunchtime. And I'll just measure them out once I go to use them. So that's the finished meal prep guys. I have my oats and then I have my superfood shake with chia and water in the afternoon or after a workout. Then I have my salad and the hummus and cucumbers and beets and then my dinner for the nighttime and I just add the dressings on as I go. I hope you enjoyed that six day vegan meal prep. If you have any questions about how I create my meals or how I use those little portion cups, the little colorful portion cups, then drop your email below. I would love to chat with you. I would love to figure out a meal plan with you. If you are transitioning into a vegan lifestyle, if you're just eating a regular diet that contains meat or dairy, then I would also love to talk with you because every person is different. Every body needs something different. So whatever is making you feel healthy, I would love to help you meal prep it so that you can stay consistent and stay healthy and strong. So like I said, if you have any questions, drop your email down below and I will contact you. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. <sighs> Sending you lots of love.